Hello, this is a short video about personal statements for maths at Oxford. I'm going to try and keep it short and I've included some pictures of our maths building just for fun alongside. Um, so if you're not interested in personal statement advice, you can still see some pictures of the lovely Andrew Wiles building. Okay, um, I'd like to start by talking about extracurricular and supercurricular activities. Um, for me, extracurricular means anything that's unrelated to the course that you intend to study. And supercurricular means things related to the course that go beyond the curriculum uh, that you're learning in school or college. Now, Oxford's policy on extracurricular stuff is very clear. We don't consider it for admissions purposes. Um, so if you uh, tell us about um, sport or other activities or musical achievements or something that's not related to the course that you're studying, then that's not something we look at for admissions purposes. Um, on the other hand, things that you're doing that are related to your course, so things that demonstrate your interest in the subject, maybe you're looking at maths outside the classroom and you're exploring a little bit, that's very interesting to us. We like to see people um, being motivated and interested in the course and exploring that beyond just the stuff that you're learning in school or college, um, beyond just turning up to lessons and learning maths there, are you looking into maths beyond the classroom. I've got some ideas of things that you could address in your personal statement. Um, you might like to tell us about maths that you've enjoyed studying in school, um, and then also maybe maths topics that you're interested in, um, perhaps having a look at what's uh, in university maths and trying to think about what maths you might be interested uh, there. And you might like to try and give us evidence or explain uh, why you will do well on our course. Um, so putting those things together, it might involve something like identifying a topic in school that you're interested in, trying to find out how it's adapted at university or whether it's leading on to some interesting maths outside there, and then perhaps trying to read something about that topic on the internet or through a book, ask yourself some questions to try and understand this bit of maths that you're personally interested in. I'm trying to be vague on topics so that I'm encouraging you to keep it personal and to choose something that you're personally interested in. Um, we're interested in people telling us that they're interested in mathematics, but of course that's a step removed from actually doing mathematics. So we know uh, that you might not be great at telling us about mathematics, but you might be great at doing mathematics and that's fine with us. Remember, we also have the mathematics admissions test, um, which will look at you doing some maths questions. Um, so if you'd rather just be doing maths rather than writing your personal statement, um, at some point of drafting your personal statement, uh, there's diminishing returns and it might be more fun to go and do some maths instead. Okay, um, just for context at the end, I've got some details about what I put in my personal statement. Um, so my personal statement had an example of a maths problem that I liked, that I'd tried to solve and I thought about, and thinking about the problem had given me some interesting ideas about sorts of maths I was interested in. Um, there was a little bit of university level mathematics that I'd read a tiny bit about. I was trying to find out about uh, one of the first year courses um, that I was interested in. I put in my favourite A-level topic, which was actually unrelated to the previous things, but I described how much I enjoyed studying it in school. Um, two extra bullet points. I've got no work experience in my personal statement and I had a sentence that wasn't about maths, um, but only a little bit that wasn't about maths in the end. Um, Oxford knows that your personal statement is being used for lots of different universities and you might be applying for slightly different courses. That's fine with us. Other universities or other courses might be asking you to put completely different things in your personal statement. Um, it was up to me, just maths, um, but we know that you're writing this personal statement for lots of people. And as I said, Oxford also has things like the maths submissions test and interviews where we get to see you actually doing some mathematics. So that's a very short video about personal statements. Wish you all the best with yours, and I hope that you also have some time to do some mathematics.